Hello and welcome to Royal Gist. Prince Harry's bear ghostwriter J.R. Moringa found the Duke of Sussex's story frustrating. Prince Harry's story hit a nerve with the ghostwriter behind his best selling memoir's pair. So, guys, as we get right into the full story, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Prince Harry's story has been described as relatable and infuriating by the ghostwriter who penned his hugely successful memoir spare. Harry's bombshell book about growing up as a royal took the world by storm when it was released on January 10, from alleging his brother physically assaulted him to revealing he suffered from a frostbitten torture. The Duke's scandal made his book an overnight success. Now, Spare's ghost writer, John uh, Moringa, has opened up about the genesis of the book and why he signed on to do it. I just like the dude. I call him dude right away. It made me chuckle, Moringa said. The ghost writer continued to say, I found his story, as he outlined it in broad strokes, relatable and infuriating. The way he, he, he had been treated by both strangers and intimates was um, grotesque. In an article for the News Yorker, Moringa added, In retrospect, though, I think I selfishly welcomed the idea of being able to speak with someone, an expert, about the never-ending feeling of wishing you could call your mom. Princess Diana had died 23 years before his first conversation with the Duke of Sussex and the ghost writer's own mother, Dorothy Moringa, had just died, and your griefs felt equally fresh, he said. The ghostwriter lift, lifted the lead on the process of writing Harry's memoir, describing how the pair slowly amassed hundreds of thousands of words through Zoom, phone calls, and texting. Harry suggested to Moringa that his primary motivation for writing spare was to set the record straight on every lie ever published about him. Despite his noble intentions, Spare caused a furor with the Duke's popularity nose diving in the wake of its release. An Ipsos Mori report conducted on, oh, on 1,000 Britons say, um, after the day after the book came out in January, found less than a quarter held a favorable view of the Duke. Half of those responding to the Ipsos Mori report said they held unfavorable views of the Duke compared to the near 70% who backed Harry before the Sussex high-profile decision to step away as walking royals back in 2020. And his sentiment was shared stateside. Harry was liked by 46% of Americans in the first quarter of 2023, down from 52% in the fourth quarter of 2022, according to a recent Newsweek poll. In his autobiography, Harry makes a host of controversial claims about members of the royal family, one of the most explosive relates him to his fraught relationship with his brother Prince William. At one point, the Duke of Sussex claimed his brother physically attacked him in a tense exchange about Harry's wife, Meghan Markle.